Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing an updated version of my Disney travel tips. I did a whole list of um, park, you know, all four theme parks at Disney World Orlando. I did a series, I guess you would call it, last year, when, right after I started my channel. So I really wanted to do an update because number one, things have changed. Things are always changing at Disney. So Every year there's something new to talk about, so I wanted to update it for 2017 as well as update on taking children to Disney because as of last year when I made those videos, I had not taken a child to Disney and this year we took our niece. So I have a lot of information and I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. I'm just kind of going to be filming these kind of sparingly since they're all done before I start this whole series. So if any videos have come before this one in the series, I will link it down below and you guys can check out videos from last year if you're interested. I'll have a playlist for this year's videos and yeah, all of that stuff. So I apologize for the lighting. It is getting dark outside and it's been a really, really dreary day so I feel like I'm super washed out but that's not why you're here. You're here to hear, here to hear about Disney and so according to the title of this video, I'm sure you guys clicked on it for that reason. This video is going to go in depth on Disney's Pop Century Resort. So we stayed here in 2016, but I still wanted to do a video on it. Um, just give you guys some recommendations and talk about the pros and cons and everything that there is to do there, pricing, you know, all of that good stuff. So Without further ado, let's keep going. If you guys are ready to hear about Disney's Pop Century Resort, then just keep going. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say is that we stayed a whole week at the Pop Century Resort. Um, the day that we arrived, we actually got there in the late afternoon, so we had a chance to really explore the property and check out everything that there was to offer. I really enjoyed it. I was really impressed. I think that... Um, you know, considering that it is a value resort, it's it's one of the cheapest hotels that you can stay at on the Disney property. Don't mind my little helper here. Um, I think that you do still get a really nice hotel and, you know, what can you really expect from a value hotel? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into like the pricing and stuff so that you guys know what you're looking into. The Pop Century Resort for a standard room averages about $117 per night. If you're looking for a bigger room, if you want a better view, if you're wanting a suite, it could go anywhere up from $117 to $142 per night, depending on what you guys are looking for. So I think it's pretty reasonable. I mean, $117, you, you could pay that anywhere. You know, you could go to Chicago and pay that. So for you to be on Disney property, I think it's a great deal. Obviously, when you are staying on Disney property, you have access to Disney's transportation system. So you just walk out of your hotel every morning, get on a bus, whatever bus you want, and go to whatever park or Disney Springs or the ESPN, uh, Wide World of Sports, or the water parks. You could go anywhere that's owned by Disney from Disney's transportation services. So I think that's my favorite part about staying on property. That's why I always recommend that you stay on property if you're going to be there for more than like two days because you get all those perks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like a pro list. Obviously Pop Century is a value resort, so you're not gonna be paying a ton of money for it. Um, it's fun. The theme is, you know, pop culture by decade in like the last century. So you're gonna find a like hotel in a series of rooms from the 1950s all the way to the 1990s. Uh, we actually stayed in the 50s. The theme for the 50s is, um, you know, like diners and like, you know, records and all uh, just really cute, themey, like um, decade type of decor. And then outside of the 50s hotel, you do have really, really big statues of Lady and the Tramp because obviously that movie came out in the 50s. So I think that's really cool. Every decade has uh, statues. I believe it's in the 60s that has Baloo and Mowgli, I think is who it is. Don't quote me on that, but uh, they also have one for Roger Rabbit, which I believe is in the 80s or in the 70s, maybe. Um, I'm not sure, but they have Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head and just really cool, like, you know, popular pop culture type things that were popular in whatever century or decade, I guess it is, that you guys are staying in. So, we were really impressed by it. We thought that it was fun. Um, and 
as with anything, you know, you're not really going to be in your hotel room all that much if you're at Disney. So I always say, you know, you need a place to sleep, but unless you're going to be taking like a day off or, you know, you're going to be there for like three weeks, you don't really need to worry about anything but having a clean hotel room to stay in. So those are some pros, I guess. It's really fun. It's, the theme is really fun. They do have a jogging trail. They do have a playground. If you guys are bringing kids, they do have a playground. Um, there's a pool, I believe, in every decade. Um, I believe we walked by a pool in every decade. So that's really nice. You know, you don't have to walk super far and fight with other people who are staying in, you know, other decades or whatever for like a communal pool. I believe they all have their own pool, if I remember right. I know for sure there's a pool in the 70s. I'm going to actually look that up and I'll put it somewhere on the screen for you guys because not 100% sure. I should have done research about the pools. But uh, they do have a cafeteria. Uh, they do have a store where you can get some merchandise. They have an arcade. So um, all of that is, you know, convenient. And then if you're staying on property, you do get the refillable mug with your dining plan if you guys are in the dining plan you do get a refillable mug so you can refill that at your hotel as many times as you want to during your stay so that's really cool they have multiple filling stations um that part is cool and so yeah i think that's probably all of the pros that i want to talk about there are a couple of cons that i kind of just want to touch on they're really just personal preference it's nothing against the hotel like i'm not here to like trash talk the hotel um one thing that kind of bothered me was the Pop Century Resort is an outdoor room uh, setup. Like, obviously, your, your room is not outdoors, but you walk down an outdoor hallway and walk directly into your room, and then, you know, you open the door to your hotel room and walk directly outside versus, you know, being inside a hotel building, walking in, like, a inside hallway and then into your room. I hope that makes sense. So, um, it's not any different, really to be honest, but I feel like you do hear a lot more noises whenever it's right outside because, you know, you have people walking and, you know, just, I feel like there's more noise because people are outside looking at the statues and people are swimming and things like that. So that's just a personal preference to me. It didn't really bother me all that much, but there was a couple of mornings where it was like 530 and people were like, you know, leaving to start their day and dragging suitcases and stuff it was just kind of a pain in the butt for that reason but again just personal preference um and then as far as the hotel room itself it's very clean I was very very pleased with it the size was nice for me and my husband um I assume that they are not all the same as our room we I believe that we actually got in a handicapped room because our shower was not even like it was not a tub shower combo or anything like that. It was literally just a drain in the floor and a shower head. And so that's why I believe that we actually ended up in a room that normally would have been given to a handicapped person, but we went in the off season. So there may not have been somebody who needed that priority at the time. So that was kind of frustrating to me just because, you know, the whole bathroom floor would be covered in water because you took a shower in there. Um, there wasn't anywhere to place your towel or, you know, place really, there was just a tiny little bench for you to place like your shower products. So that was kind of frustrating. And obviously I had to wear flip flops in the shower and, you know, first world problems that to me was, it was not that big of a deal, but kind of a little bit frustrating. So there is that. And then as far as the dining part, like the little cafeteria, it was not great. Um, they, they seem to have a lot of selections, but we did eat there and the food that we ended up getting, it wasn't great. It, mine was a bit cold in the middle. I had a cheeseburger and my husband, I actually don't remember what he got, but I do remember that he was kind of like, this isn't great. We probably won't eat here again. So keep that in mind, especially if you have like a dining plan, but again, that's only one experience. So maybe we just hit it on a bad night or you know something to that effect so I believe I covered everything oh uh, I did want to mention that Pop Century is being refurbished in certain areas of the resort for 2017 I'm not sure when that construction is going to be complete I'm not you know 100% sure which 
part of the resort they're working on, but I do know that when you get on the Disney website, they do put a little red flag that says being refurbished. So this may not be the resort that you want to stay in for 2017 just to avoid construction sounds, but all in all, I do think that it's worth it. I would probably stay here again if it was just me and my husband going, but as far as if you're taking children, there are other options. I'm going to have a video on Disney's Art of Animation Resort. That's going to be a glowing review. So, um, like I said, I will have all of the other videos listed down below and linked for you so that you could go check them out. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely, if you have any questions whatsoever, if I forgot something or something wasn't clear, definitely leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe and like this for future Disney videos. So, Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and thank you again for watching. Have a magical day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.